Hi, we are pleased to present the case of a 27-year-old woman who attended our emergency room complaining of fatigue and recurrent pain in the right side of her chest. She had been diagnosed with anorexia nervosa at the age of 70 years. On physical examination, she looked markedly cachectic. She had a very low body mass index of 10 kg square meters and low blood pressure. Laboratory investigations were notable for pancytopenia and hypoglycemia, an altered liver function test. A first CT scan of patient chest excluded pulmonary embolism and revealed an apical condensation, which appeared later with some excavation. Further investigations were in favor of inhalation of frying body. The patient was prescribed antibiotics for six weeks. After four weeks in hospital, pancytopenia was still present. So we did a bone marrow aspirate, which showed some hypocellular spicules with an increase in adipocytes surrounded by abundant extracellular pinkish material, indicating the gelatinous transformation of the bone marrow. The patient was commenced on enteral feeding with a progressive energetic regimen along with concomitant correction of fluid and electrolyte imbalances. After two months of treatment, her weight increased from 32.5 to 39.7 kg, her BMI from 10 to 12 kg per square meter. On the other side, count of blood cells returned to normal levels. The severity of anorexia nervosa is determined by the BMI level. It is considered as extreme when BMI is less than 15 kg per square meter. Patients with a very low BMI, as in our case, are at high risk of developing the refeeding syndrome, which occurs when rapid and inappropriate feeding is initiated after a long period of starvation. Anorexia nervosa is also associated with an increased risk of gelatinous bone marrow transformation and pancytopenia, which are reversible with treatment. Thank you.